Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something a little bit different. Something that is very similar to the nothing videos, which are announcement videos, but a video I feel that just kind of needs to be made. A, a video that just needs to come out of my head and I need to put it down on the YouTube channel known as PS2 Freak 11223, aka my channel. It is also after midnight on the 4th of October in 2023. I have no earthly idea when this is going to be uploaded, but I, I figured I would just kind of let my mind ramble, you know, let my thoughts explode onto this video, just just kind of explode you know it, it, it this is this is like nothing but this is also something you know something concrete something that i feel like i should just say and it's going to be like nothing in that i feel like this is going to be kind of an announcement video but i also feel like it's going to be not like nothing because I want to focus more on my thoughts. I want to focus more on just voicing my opinion and just putting it out, putting it out there, letting you dictate and analyze and whatever in a comment section about this video and about my thoughts and whatnot. Should I even continue this type of series on the channel or should I just keep going with nothing? You know, it, it's all up to what you guys say. Or maybe we could have nothing and thoughts at the same time. I, I don't know. Uh, nothing, like I said, nothing is more announcement video. Thoughts is more just my thoughts. My thoughts spewing on the video and just whatever comes to mind. So that's, that's what's going to happen here. Almost like a podcast in a way. But without another person, without other people being involved... You know, all that sort of stuff. Now, now maybe maybe I could have somebody involved. Maybe Frozen could come on here and he could, you know, join in and say, oh, yeah, like, let's let's talk about these thoughts. Let's talk about those thoughts. You know, it's it's whatever. It, it can be a podcast. It doesn't have to be a podcast. It could be recording. It could be whatever. I mean, it is a recording. I am using Bandicam. I am talking into my headset's microphone. I've had these headsets, headsets, that's an interesting word, technically it's headset, um, but I've had this headset since 2020, and it's lasted me a, a good long while, like a little bit more than three years at this point, which I'm very impressed, you know, I think out of all the headsets that I've had over the years, this headset is by far probably the best one. Uh, second best would probably be either the black Razer headset that I had or the blue Razer headset that Hellish Monkey gave me. Um, but this one so far is held up. The only issue I have with it is I don't like the fact that the rubber part of the you know ear side is coming off. And then when I sweat, it dissolves the rubber part and then when I put the headset down I guess the rubber part and the sweat kind of like if I have a piece of paper and I set the headset down on the piece of paper it looks like there are grease stains on the piece of paper I don't like that I just I don't like that at all um, so yeah there there we go that, that's like an example of thoughts it's whatever just comes to my head and maybe, if we're lucky, I can put chapters of whatever comes to, to, my, to my mind, to my head. I can put chapters down on the YouTube thing. I can put it in the description, and you can click on the timestamp. And if you want to go to a certain particular thought, then you can click on that timestamp in the, in the um, description below the video. I don't know. You know, it's it's whatever comes to my head. But I just want to put it out there with this video. First of all, PS2 Freak, your boy is getting married in 
a little bit over two months from now. And I knew that I was going to get married. I knew that I wanted to get married. I just thought that I probably would be married five years ago. My, my original thought was I would finish high school in 2011. I would finish college probably by 2015. I would have a really awesome and amazing job by, I don't know, 2016, 2017, somewhere around there. I thought around that time too, I would find a girl. I would settle down with the girl. And by maybe 2018, 2020, I would get married to that girl. And then probably around this time, if not two years from now, I would have a kid. 2025 would be me having a kid. And then we'd raise the child. We'd go through all the raising children stuff together. And then suddenly I retire. Suddenly my significant other and I grow old together. I then pass away first because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be alone. But even even thinking that I don't want to be alone, that's another thought that we could really work on and kind of go down a path. But I didn't want to deal with the sadness that came from my significant other's passing, my wife's passing. At the same time, you know, I wouldn't mind if, if I did survive my wife and... You know, because then she wouldn't have to experience me passing away first. And she wouldn't have to suffer through that. Um, and then I would, you know, pass away. And hopefully by the time one of us passes away, you know, our kid has several kids and we're grandparents or maybe we're great grandparents. I have no idea. You know, and and we just live a long and happy life like that that was my original plan that was my original plan and then i i got to college and i had to take a semester off the spring semester of 2014 because the original four-year college that i went to i just had a panic attack at and then I started a different four-year college in the summer of 2014. Absolutely loved it, even though I didn't think I would ever go to that college, but I, I absolutely adored it. And then I graduated in 2016. And while I did have a significant other at that time that I definitely thought I was going to marry a little bit down the road, it just, it didn't, my life just seemed as if it started to really get extremely stressful. And I and I think it really showed in my videos because I know for a fact I still have a lot of videos to go through from 2017. I have a ton of videos to go through from 2018, 2019. Um, I think 2020 I still have a lot of videos to do, but I don't think I recorded a lot in 2021 and 2022. And even even this year, I didn't really do too much. And and we'll get to that point in this video, but I I feel like 2017 was like, you could almost say the beginning of the end, but not exactly, because I feel like 2017 really, I guess, got the ball rolling for a lot of uh, change in my life and a lot of change in just the way that I perceive the world. So in a way like 2017, yeah, while it was extremely stressful, it did, I guess in a way, help, help me become a better person. But I kind of blamed that more on 2018 because 2018, I got out of the rut that I was in in 2017 by getting a new job and seeing my therapist and just really 
focusing on improving my mental health. And by 2019, specifically August 2019, I felt like I could just do anything. I felt so positive about life. I felt like things were looking up. You know, I felt like I was getting close to that point where I was going to propose to the significant other that I was with at that time. And then towards the end of 2019, I suddenly got the full-time job, my first ever full-time job. And beginning of 2020, I was, I felt like I was bound for greatness. I felt like I was bound to just make my dreams come true and have that life that I thought I would have a little bit earlier, like around 2017 rather than 2020. And then 2020 happened. And that one virus that everybody talks about happened. And the full-time job that I got at that point, it it went bye-bye. <laughs> and then I moved back to my parents' place. And then the significant other that I had dated during that time, she left. And I just felt like I was abandoned. I felt like I was thrust back into a world that was slowly, I guess you could say, abandoning me. And I had no idea what to do. I had no idea what to think, how to think. And that's when I think I fully went into my old ways of being extremely dependent. And when that didn't work, I started to realize, holy crap, wait a minute. I actually have this thing called dependent personality disorder where I look to other people, whether it be on an online forum, whether it be to friends, whether it be to family, whether it be to even therapy, I look to other people and I say, what is your opinion on life? What is your thought about this negative, irrational thought that I'm having in my head? What is your opinion about the dark wolf? Because I want that to be my opinion. But then again, maybe I don't. Because sometimes people can have certain opinions that you may not agree with, you may not feel as right in your head, heart, and gut, and you may say, oh my God, why am I even following this? Why am I even subscribing to this train of thought? As AWOL Nation says, and here comes the runs, stop that train, I want to get off. And I, I realized this probably around 2022. As I'm dating this new girl from my church, beautiful girl, around the same age, age as me, but she's very much an introvert. She's very much to herself. She's very much independent. And dating her and being with her, I have realized and come to the realization that I, too, should become independent. I too should stop relying on other people for their thoughts and opinions on what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And I should actually go back to my senior year of high school and, and take the quote that I used and I should utilize it and practice it in my daily life. And the quote is from the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. And I chose that quote because when I first watched that movie my senior year of high school, it was just so moving to me that when it was time to pick a senior quote, I thought, you know what? The, the quote that Will Smith says in this movie is very applicable to people who are now about to begin in their adult journey you know it's it's basically the 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 quote is from 
when Will Smith is talking to his son in the movie and he's playing basketball with his son and, and Will Smith stops him and says, like, don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot do. And that just, for me, it just resonated with me because I, I realized that this is actually a darn good quote. Again, for, you know, for people going on their own and venturing out on their own, like this is a darn good quote because you're going to be venturing out there on your own. You're not going to know what's going to come and you're in and you're not going to know who you're going to be influenced by because you're you're so new into the big open ocean that is this world this vast ocean of whatever and and you don't know who's going to influence you and you don't know who you're going to be influenced by and suddenly people come in and they take you for granted and they take advantage of you and they treat you like crap and the next thing you know you just went down this irrational negative dark wolf path because people influenced you and people said oh you should do this oh you should go this way oh you should go against your beliefs and morals and you should be more like me because I am so amazing. I am way better than your religion or your morals or your ethics or whatever. And I, I realize I, I've come to this conclusion actually fairly recently because just being with my significant other now that I'm about to marry in, in two months, I, I realize that because of her being independent and because of her you know, really not caring what other people think. And I I think her not caring what other people think has really caused me to rethink a lot of things too because, again, that, that goes along with the dependent personality disorder. If somebody says that I look terrible in something or if somebody says, oh, you sound horrible when I sing or if somebody says your YouTube channel sucks or, you know, oh, I'm not going to subscribe to your YouTube channel because I don't want to, you know, I don't like you. I don't care for you. Like it's their opinion. And like an asshole, everybody's got one. Everybody's got an opinion and, and they're entitled to that. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but we don't have to take somebody else's opinion and make it our own. We don't have to believe what somebody else believes. If somebody believes that they want to poke themselves with a sewing needle and they, and they believe that the sewing needle is this oh holy thing and and that the sewing needle is going to cleanse them of whatever you know that that can be their belief but I don't want to feel pain needlessly. I don't want to take a sewing needle and poke my finger for no reason. I mean, that to me, that just seems weird and that just seems irrational. And it does not feel right in my head, heart, and gut. And, and that is fine. You know, that is my opinion. And I'm going to do that opinion. I'm going to carry forth that opinion. So what I'm trying to say is, People's opinions should not be applied to your life unless you think their opinion is right in your head, heart, and gut. In fact, it, the opinions probably shouldn't even be applied in general. You can take somebody's opinion. You can listen to somebody's opinion. You can listen to this video and say, wow, that's an interesting video, but you don't have to live it. You don't have to believe in what I am spewing out of my mouth. You don't have to believe in my venting process. Heck, I may just call the next video in this series like venting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But no, it, it's what I'm trying to say 
is do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. Let go and let God for the things that you cannot change. Do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut for the things that you can change and have the wisdom to know the difference between what you should let go of and what you can change, what is in your power to change. We can let go and let God when it comes to the weather and say, all right, well, it's raining now. I don't want it to rain today. I wish I could change the weather to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But right now it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's raining. And I can't do anything about it. So we need to accept that. All right. That person over there says that they don't like my official Duck Studios Thick Boy Summer outfit because it looks ugly. It looks hideous. It looks like a bachelor type outfit that a soon to be married man should not be wearing. But that's their opinion. I cannot necessarily change that opinion. I mean, I could wear sunglasses with this and a particular hat or comb my hair a certain way and pose a certain way, and maybe they would change their mind and say, oh, you know what, maybe this guy does look pretty sexy when he wears the official Duck Studios Thick Boy Summer outfit that's extremely neon orange and yellow with a bunch of eggplants and steak dinners everywhere and Hawaiian flowers and other sort of assortment of veggies and meats. You know, but again... That person's opinion of this shirt looks terrible is their opinion. Yeah, okay, I could take their opinion and say, all right, I agree with you. I'm not going to wear this shirt anymore. Or I could say, you know what? My head, heart, and gut, I like this shirt, and I'm going to wear it whenever I want to, and I'm sorry that you don't like it. I will be considerate around you and probably not wear it, but if you're not around me maybe i'll wear it here and there because it is mine and because i like it and that is my opinion and that is what i'm going to do and that is what feels right in my head heart and gut so yeah (laughs) i i had a train of thought there and somehow it kind of fizzled out what i'm trying to get at here is Do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. Let go and let God. And be grateful for the life you have and the life that you had in the past. And be grateful for the fact that you can control most of the things in your world so that you can have an even better future tomorrow. I was driving home from work recently and I really thought about things and this this one thought came into my head and it was what we did in the past got us here to this exact moment today. We had the ability to choose whatever we wanted to do in the past and that even goes for when we were a little kid. We could choose whatever we wanted to do in the past. And whatever we chose to do in the past allowed us to get to where we are today in this exact moment. And we got to this exact moment today because of what we did back then. So we can't be superstitious now and look at the past and be like, well, I felt this way. So this must mean that I need to do this. Not necessarily. You have a choice. If you believe in God, God gave us free will. He gave us the ability to choose most of our actions. But he wants us to choose the right ones. He wants us to choose the moral and correct ones. 
He wants us to choose the choices and the actions that are positive and can make us have a positive human experience and can make us help our fellow humans, our fellow beings, help this planet out, help the plants and the animals out. That is what he wants us to do. He wants us to love one another as he has loved us. And so because of that, you know, we, we have to, yes, think about ourselves, but we also have to think about our fellow person, our fellow neighbor. We need to love ourselves, but we also need to love our neighbor too. And yeah, okay, maybe there is a person out there who you don't really care too much for, but you still need to pray for them. You still need to be nice to them. And if they want to be nasty to you, if they want to be negative to you, well, that's their issue. That is not your issue. You can choose how to act towards that person. If you wanted to, you could post a negative comment in this video and say, PS2 Freak, you're an idiot, you're a horrible person, I don't like your thoughts, I'm going to dislike this video, you suck, blah, 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 blah. I can read it if I want to, or I can choose to not read it and continue to scroll on to something else. And I also have the power to say, oh, I can believe this thought, delete my channel, and go bye-bye. Or I have the power to look at that thought I have the power to pray for the person behind that thought. And then I have the power to not let that comment rule over my day or my week or my month or whatever. I have that ability. I don't have the ability to stop the person from writing the nasty comment unless I personally know that person and that person is standing or sitting right in front of me as they write the nasty comment, I could say, hey, stop it. I could turn off the computer, computer right then and there and prevent them from writing and posting that nasty comment. But I, I don't have that ability. I don't have that ability to teleport to that person and say, what is wrong with you? What made you think this way? What made you dislike this video? What made you dislike this channel? What made you have these negative, potentially irrational thoughts? What made you become and choose the dark wolf and, and post this negativity? That is up to you. But we are here for a positive human experience and we are here to be grateful that we have a human experience and that we have the ability to persevere through the negative experience that we may or may not have. Yes, there will be ups and yes, there will be downs in life, but we have the ability to look at those ups and downs and say, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. We are thankful to have the opportunity to be down here on earth and to help one another down here on earth and to help the earth grow and become prosperous for all, not only those in the present moment, but also those in the future. So, again... Do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. If you want to get married, if you want to be in a relationship, if you want to have a family, that is your choice. If you don't want to have a family, but you want to get in a relationship, that is your choice. If you want to get married, but not have a family, that is your choice. If you want to get married and have kids, 
that is your choice. But I would not force somebody to get married. I would not force somebody to have kids. I would not force somebody to have a relationship. If you are okay not being in a relationship, then that is up to you. That is your choice. If you do not want to date your friends, that is your choice. If you do not want to be in a relationship in general, that is your choice. I'm going to do what feels right in my head, heart, and gut, and you should do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. And again, even that is your choice. You don't have to do something that feels right in your head, heart, and gut. You can just, you know, be a silly goose. Be a very irrational silly goose that has let the dark wolf take over. That's bad mojo. That is not a positive human experience. Not a positive one at all. So, again, do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut, and let go and let God. And that's kind of sort of the one side of this video. I know it's 31 minutes into this video, and it is currently 1.10 in the morning as I'm recording this. I, I probably should get to bed. I've got laundry in the dryer that I need to put up. I have been going through random stuff in my closet with my fiance so that when I do move into the house, the new house that my fiance and I have, I can have a very smooth transition and I can have a very happy week off <laughs> because I am taking a week off after my wedding. I have been given permission by my job to take a week off as of right now, uh, which I 110% appreciate my job that I currently have. I, I enjoy the job that I currently have. And honestly, I haven't enjoyed a job probably since I was at this one job from 2018 to 2020. So technically, I haven't enjoyed a job since the beginning of 2020, which is kind of sad, in all honesty. It is kind of sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. The other job that I have, I do, I do like. I find it fun. I interact with people, you know. And, and I've had that job since 2020. But it's not as fun as the job that I had from 2018 to 2020. And I will be very honest about that. It's it's not quite there yet because it's not quite there because in my mind it is not something that I studied for. It is not something that I got degrees in. It is not something that I got certificates in. It is something that is kind of a side job, almost like my YouTube channel here, PS2 Freak 11223. But with with this YouTube channel, I I do enjoy making videos. I do enjoy uploading videos. What I don't like is editing. I do not like editing. I just want to make a video, throw it up on YouTube, and be done with it. And I think that's why, more recently, I have been doing live streams on this channel. I've been focusing more on the live stream aspect of YouTube. And I'm noticing a lot better results than uploading your typical Let's Play or Let's Play Together. Which, as of this video right now as of this recording on the 4th of October in 2023 I have made a big chunk of progress in me recording Half-Life 2 and I'm so excited for y'all to see 
Let's Play Half-Life 2. I cannot wait, especially since the 20th anniversary is coming up. I mean, for goodness sake, the game came out in 2004. And I'm just now almost finishing the game in the latter stages of 2023. What sucks, too, is that I I started the game technically in 2022, and then I took a big break because I had a lot of things going on in, in this year, which there will be a Christmas New Year's special, and I need to look at that again because it's going to be as long as this video, if not a little bit longer, and I need to make sure that everything's okay in it. Um... I may have to re-record it, which I probably will, because I, I don't want it to be extremely long. But, um, yeah, I, I talk about how this year's just been insane. This year's just been crazy. But I think this year, because of the insanity and the stress, it's made me want to put this video out there. And it's made me want to maybe do a, a series like this on this channel. And we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I hope you all are receptive to this. I hope you all look at this and you realize, you know, this is pretty cool. I, I like what PS2 Freak's spouting here. I'm going to subscribe to his channel specifically for the Thoughts video. And maybe, again, this could be a, a podcast type thing. I mean, we're already at the 36-minute mark. We're going to hit the 37-minute mark. We might as well keep going. And I feel like that's what podcasts are about, too. They just are, are thoughts that people have, and they just spew them out onto the microphone. And that spewing either goes to YouTube or goes to Spotify or goes to Apple Music or wherever um podcasts are audible i don't know where where else it really goes amazon <laughs> who knows but what i'm really getting at here is going back to the actual focus of this video or one of the focuses of this video um my significant other who i'm going to marry is an amazing person and I love her so much. And she has made me think and rethink a lot about myself. She has made me really reconsider my thoughts on life and my thoughts on, I would say, relationships. And I've come to the conclusion that... Again, like anything, if you're going to go into a relationship, you're going to want to do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. It has to be all three. Like the person that you want to be with for the rest of your life, and you have to think like that too. You have to look at the relationship as something that's going to last for the rest of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to have kids. In the Catholic tradition, yes, they want you to have kids, but if you're not Catholic, and even if you are, you got to do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut. you got to look at the relationship and say, and look at the person and say, can I see this person as somebody who I want to spend the rest of my life with? And you really have to think about that because it has to feel right in your head, heart, and gut 110% and then some. You have to be darn sure about the person who you want to marry and the person who you want to have a relationship with. Because again, this is, this is for life. You're going to be with this person for the rest of your life. And you, you really have to dig into yourself and say, all right, can I handle this person? Can I handle this person's flaws? Can I handle this person's personality? Can I handle this person... When he or she says this, that, or the other. I have realized with being with my significant other, who we're actually going to name Roomba Squirrel because of this Drew Lynch 
skit that he did, or rather a, a comedy routine, where he talks about his, his wife and living with his wife who has ADHD. I realize with being with Roomba Squirrel for almost two years now that my type of relationship or the person who I want to be with for the rest of my life, not only do they have to be physically attractive to me, but they also have to have an amazing personality. And this personality, you know, they just have such positive energy. They make me laugh. They make me feel comfortable enough to where I want to tell them all of my thoughts, tell them my life story, tell them everything. I could stay up the whole entire night and the whole entire day with this person and continuously tell them my thoughts and feel so comfortable and vulnerable with them that it doesn't matter if they're Catholic or not. It doesn't necessarily matter if they're a certain type of political faction or not. As long as they don't honestly like the one person who was a leader of the United States at a certain point in time, then I'll be okay <laughs> just to get some political stuff in there. And I don't know. You know, that, that's the thing with the thoughts video. I don't know if I really want to go the political route because if I do go the political route, I could say some things that may jeopardize other aspects of my personal life. And I, I, I kind of don't want to do that so i don't think i would want to put in the political stuff into this channel or into this video set or into anything else and yes i know if we go back to my portal knights videos i do the trump impression i do the fantastic trump impression so fantastic it's it's just a hugely fantastic hamburger that i like to grab and i like to stuff into my mouth I have a huge mouth, just like I have huge hands. So huge. Let me be clear. Just because I do the uh, president voices does not mean that I had sexual relations with that woman. There was a little bit of a weird transition there. Okay, just calm down. It's going to be okay. All right? The only sexual relation I had with a woman was with Hillary. She was pretty wrinkly. All right? Just, just gonna put that out there, okay? But, but it was fun. You know what's fun? You know what's really fun? Free health care for all. Free health care for everyone, even those in Vermont, just where I'm from. Cause I'm Bernie Sanders. Free health care for all. <laughs> Free health care. <laughs> yeah, I, tr I tried telling that to the Iraqis. You know. Back in the day, I don't think they really listened to me, which is kind of a darn shame. It's kind of why, you know, I I like to paint, paint all those pictures, you know. Y'all miss me yet? See, like, I, I can do these political impressions, and I love doing the impressions, political or not. I mean, it's really fun when I get to do this type of impression, too. Because, you know, I haven't talked to the guy like this. The the real voice actor who sounds like this. Sounds like Cleveland Brown. And I, I talked to him like this the whole entire time that I was with him. And he was just like, oh my god. This guy's a fucking idiot. I hate this guy. God dang it. Why did I, why did I sign up for this? This asshole over here is just not even going to stop talking. <laughs> like, he, he literally was thinking that. I, I could tell that. His... His expression was that of just sure, of sheer pain <laughs> when I was talking to him the whole time in the Cleveland Brown voice. Um, At least I wasn't talking like Herbert, because that would just be a darn shame now, wouldn't it, Chris? Get your fat ass over here. Um, 
Anywho, enough of that. What I'm what I'm trying to say is going back to the relationship stuff. See, this is why this thing's called thoughts and not called nothing, where everything is focused. Thoughts don't have to be focused. Okay, TC Firestar? I'm going to focus in on you because you're an amazing person and I care about you and I hope you're doing well and I hope you are watching this video all the way up until this point too because 45 minutes in, it's 1.24 in the morning, you know. Um, I, I know you've been saying in the past that I go off tangent a lot, and I do. And and I, I apologize for that for the most part. Um, but but that's that's just like me. I, I go off on tangents a lot. That is just like me. So you know I I yeah, I just wanted to just wanted to put that out there. You know, just wanted to put that random tangent, that random thought out there. Because that's the whole point. That's the whole point of this video. Just go out Go on random tangents, get all that stuff out there, vent all this stuff out, word vomit all this stuff out, uh, just like that, and go from there. Like this video, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe for more content like this, only on the PSD Free channel. Um, <laughs> anywho, so so again, going back to my original thought, I, I should probably just like put in the chapters like tangent one tangent two and then the type of thought in each section it would probably make for a very shorter video i'm sure looks at tc firestar um but yeah so going back to the the original intent um roomba squirrel has really made me a way better person because I look at her and I just see independence. I just see independence oozing out of her being. But I also see goofiness. I also see cuteness. I also see very attractiveness. I also see extremely, extremely smart. I mean, she is just so freaking smart. And I just see all of that blended together into one big holy shit you are beautiful type personality and she makes me laugh and she makes me feel like i could tell her everything and she wouldn't judge me and she still would be with me no matter what i said and no matter most of what i do I say most and I harp on most because you never want to cheat on a girl or a guy or anyone. You never want to cheat on anyone. And if I cheated on her and she found out, I would probably murder myself because I wouldn't want her to cheat on me. I wouldn't want anyone to cheat on me. So... I could totally understand if she wanted to end the relationship because I cheated. 110% understand that. Which, I mean, obviously, of course, duh. <laughs> if if I said, oh, honey, I didn't mean to do that, well, what the fuck, PS2 freak? What is wrong with you, PS2 freak? You're an idiot, PS2 freak. What the heck's wrong with you, PS2 freak? Why the hell would you cheat on somebody? That is a darn shame. Never cheat on anyone. Never cheat on your significant other. If you even remotely think about wanting to do that to your significant other, you should not be with that significant other. You really should not be with that significant other. Um, but yeah, no, I... I love her because of her personality. I love Roomba Squirrel because of her personality. She makes me laugh. I feel vulnerable with her. And I feel like I can talk to her about anything. And say anything to her. And she would still be there every single step of the way. And that is what I love about her. Not only is she physically attractive and beautiful. But she has a wonderful and beautiful personality that I 
love 110%. I've never felt this type of love before for somebody until I met Roomba Squirrel. And with this year, with us going through the process of finding a house and buying a house, and and now the, the whole marriage prep stuff and, and getting married, I could not see myself doing that with somebody else. I could only see myself doing that with Roomba Squirrel because that's just how she is to me. That is just how she is. I really seriously hope that my friends like her a lot. I seriously hope my family likes her a lot. I know my family likes her a lot. I am a little worried about my mom because my mom can be very opinionated. She was very opinionated when I was dating the one significant other before Roomba Squirrel. I don't think she really got this opinionated until after um, the first significant other broke up with me. But I I can kind of sense there's a little bit of something with my mom, and I, I don't know what it is. But again, therein lies my dependent personality disorder because I look at my mom, and I sense that supposedly. And my superstition is that because I sense that, the relationship with Roomba Squirrel and I is going to cease. I don't want that. That does not feel right in my head, heart, and gut. I do not want our relationship to cease. I don't. But with my mom and sensing that, it just, I don't know, it just feels, it feels irrational and it feels superstitious because it is superstitious and it is irrational because I know my mom really, really likes Roomba Squirrel. Rationally, I know that. And what I need to do is I need to focus on that rational mindset, that positive mindset, instead of letting the dark wolf play tricks on me and say, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this sense that I'm sensing? Oh, what is this? So, I I do blame my superstitions for the irrational negativity that I feel. I do blame the self-doubt that the super superstitions cause. And I do blame the dependent personality disorder for me constantly checking in so to speak, with Roomba Squirrel and saying, you still love me? You still care about me? You still like my friends? You still like my family? You still want to go on adventures with me? You still want to do this, that, and the other with me? It's that dependent personality disorder and that superstition that causes the dependent personality disorder that makes me have these obsessive thoughts that makes me have these intrusive thoughts. And it's irrational. It's just plain irrational. It does not feel right in my head, heart, and gut. So I'm going to choose, rather than let define, let these irrational thoughts define me, I'm going to choose to not let them define me. I'm going to choose to say, okay, these thoughts are here but they are not me. And I'm instead going to be grateful that I am here and that I am present in this moment and that I can think for myself and that I can choose who I want to marry and that I'm, I'm going to be grateful for Roomba Squirrel in my life because again she has taught me so much in the almost two years that we have been together that it just it makes me happy and proud to know that my future wife is the way that she is so I'm going to choose to marry 
Roomba squirrel. Now, if my friends don't like her, or if my family members don't like her, in all honesty, and, and if Roomba squirrel doesn't like my friends and or family, in all honesty, that is their choice. To dislike Roomba squirrel, or to dislike my friends, or to dislike my family, that is their choice. That is their issue. It's not mine. Because God taught me to love. And doing what feels right in my head, heart, and gut is something that I feel is the thing that God is trying to tell me to do. It is my purpose that God has put forth for my life, so to speak, or the universe has put forth for my life. To do what feels right in my head, heart, and gut is God's plan, the universe's plan whatever you want to say. So being with Roomba Squirrel feels right in my head, heart, and gut. Having the friends and family that I do in my life feels right in my, in my head, heart, and gut. And I'm going to continue to choose to be with whoever I want. After I get married, it's going to definitely be Roomba Squirrel, and even now it's definitely Roomba Squirrel. I'm not saying that, oh, you know, let me just get out of this relationship even though I literally am going to get married in less than two months. No, 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 no. What I'm saying when I say I'm going to choose who I want to be with, it's I get to choose, all right, I'm going to hang out with Hellish Monkey this day. All right, I'm going to hang out with Frozen this day. All right, I'm going to hang out with my other friends on this day. If Roomba Squirrel wants to be a part of that, that is up to her. I would love it if Roomba Squirrel could be a part of a lot of my outings. But she doesn't have to be. Even when, even when we get married, she doesn't have to be. That's up to her. That is her choice. I'm not going to force her to do something that she doesn't want to do. I hope that when we get married, because I am a, I am big when it comes to family. I mean, I love family traditions. I love being with family in general. And I hope that when Roomba Squirrel does marry into the family that she does go to most of the family traditions that my family has. And I will certainly go to her family traditions that her family has. In fact, I went this summer to see her family for one of their family traditions. And I had some amazing waffles because one of her family members can cook some darn good waffles and they gave us like three waffle makers. And I don't think we can even touch, even with those waffle makers, the waffles that this family member does but that's a family tradition right there that is a family tradition so and i and i think this christmas if not next christmas again another family tradition to go with her family and do things up there and and again that's just a part of marriage and i learned that from doing the marriage prep classes that I took er, a little earlier this year. There are some traditions that probably are going to have to be put to the side when you marry somebody. And there are other traditions that significant others just going to have to do with you. For instance, Easter, I am not giving up Easter. Easter. That is a family tradition that happens at my parents' house every Easter. It is something that I want to carry with me until the day that I die. Because I love Easter and I love that family tradition. Love it, love it, love it. So I hope that 
when I do marry Roomba Squirrel that we can continue that family tradition and we can do other family traditions as well. So, yeah, that's that's kind of my hope. And it's something that I want to talk with her about. It's something that I have talked with her about before too. But it's something that I want to continue to talk to her about or talk with her about, I should say. And I hope that she can come to some of the friend things that my friends and I do. I wouldn't necessarily call them traditions per se, but friends miss and friends giving are certainly traditions nowadays. And they're fun and they're exciting and they're like two times better than a regular friend outing or friends outing. I think they're a bit more exciting because, you know, everybody's bringing their own dish or side dish or snack. Everybody's sharing all that with each other. And it's fun. We play cards. We play Cards Against Humanity. We play Uno. We play all sorts of stuff. It's fun. It's exciting. I love it. And we exchange gifts when it's friends mess. You know, we do the elephant exchange thing. And it's fun. And it's enjoyable. So I hope that Roomba Squirrel can be a part of that. And even if she cannot, I hope that my friends are okay with it. And even if they're not okay with it, it's their issue. It's not my issue. I choose to do what I want to in my life. They choose to do what they want to in their life. They choose their thoughts. I choose mine. And when I say thoughts, I mean opinions. And yeah. Yeah. That's just how it is. So it's been an hour. I don't know who in the world's watching or listening to this video. Um, if you are, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. It, it means a lot. I appreciate all of my viewers, whether you all are returning, whether you all are subscribers, whether you all are just random search on YouTube or Google or Bing or wherever. I am glad you are here. I hope you listen to this up, you know, up, up with the hour thing because it's now two minutes into the first hour. And and I hope you get something out of this. But I, I just wanted to make this video because I needed to vent. I needed to spew out things. I needed to have a Dr. Phil session. I needed to just word vomit. And yeah, I think to end this video, I think I'm going to say my, my takeaway about this. And that's again, do what feels right in your head, heart, and gut for the things that you can change in this world. Let go and let God for the things that you cannot change and have the wisdom to know the difference between the two things. That's just that's just how it is. And and I want to end too on again saying that if you choose to have a relationship, I hope that it is a forever relationship. If you choose to get married, I hope it is a positive and successful marriage. If you choose to have a family, I hope that it is a happy and awesome family. And if you choose to not be in a relationship at all, then I hope that you can still have a positive human experience and that you can continue to be grateful for what you have currently. So in conclusion, I guess I'll, I'll end the video here and then I'll get like four hours of sleep <laughs> after this. Um, do what feels right in your head, heart and gut. Let go and let God. What we have done in the past has led up to this moment in the present and we have the ability currently in the present to write our future and write 
what could potentially happen in the future. We have that ability right here and right now by making the choices that we make. And hopefully those choices feel right in your head, heart, and gut. And hopefully those choices are positive and rational. And I hope you all do not let your mind goblins and your dark wolf get the better of you. So till then, folks, thank you all so much for watching. You're listening to Thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And I'll see you all or hear you all in the next Thoughts video. Until then, until then.